How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another commentary about Halo here. In this video we're going to talk about the five things 343 can do to keep Halo 5 alive until Halo Infinite is released. As we all know at E3, Halo Infinite was announced and got everyone in the Halo community super excited about this game. Though, some of the rumors going around the game, which we will talk about later on this channel, but in this video we're going to focus just on Halo 5 aspect of the whole thing, is uh, when is Halo Infinite going to be released? We as, no, as we know in Halo 5, the announcement trailer was released two years before the release of the actual game of Halo 5. So if 343 is to follow this trend, we won't have a Halo game until 2020. That'd be a five year gap between games. Personally, I think it's gonna be a one year announcement gap between announcement and game, but that's just my opinion. Though I've noticed that 343 has been posting up a lot of job opportunities on their website. If we can check it out right here, you can see not only are the games developer requests behind me right here also look, look look at all these different development requests for lead positions like senior senior positions in this game no leads i believe that's what or there's one lead graphics developer uh on this list right here so there's gonna be a lot of senior some lead positions for halo infinite this kind of gets me thinking maybe it's going to be two years until we have this game released and so it makes me wonder as a Halo content creator, and also just a person who cares about the game and the community a lot, is how can we keep Halo 5 alive for a year and a half, possibly two years? So I came up with a list of things I think 343 can easily implement into Halo 5 to help generate some more hype for the game, keep, keep people coming back, and keep them playing as well. Nothing crazy like new campaign, new developer made maps, like nothing too intensive on 343's end because they're focusing so much on Halo Infinite, getting the slip space engine down correctly and also making a good game there, which I would much rather focus their uh, main efforts on the Halo Infinite, but we have to keep Halo 5 fresh and so then people like me, who like playing the game a lot, still don't get completely bored and just kind of jump off the game. So I ask you, the viewer, if you have your top five things you would like to see implemented into Halo 5 to where you think it will help keep the game fresh, keep people interacting with the game, you know, leave it in the comments. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you enjoyed the video at the end of it, if you feel like it's worth it, give it a like. So number one on the list here that I feel can help keep the community interacting with the game are new maps. Now, obviously not developer made maps, as in those takes a, a lot of time, development costs, and a lot of interaction, and very time uh, intensive when it comes to implementing new maps, especially in the matchmaking. But as we know, Halo 5 has an amazing forge. And I know that Halo 5 you know, Forgers have made amazing maps. I've played on them. They're great. They're fun. They're new. They're inventive. And they're just like almost as good as developer made maps. So why not get like a BTP refresh like experience, but maybe for 4v4 maps or just Slayer or something along those lines since Slayer is the second most played playlist in the game. New maps have always been an easy way to keep uh, player engagement high because it's just new content. We've been playing on the same maps for essentially, oh gosh, probably like what, close to two years now? Something like that. So uh, a little bit of a refresh would be really nice. And we know that 343 is not afraid to adding in Forge maps in the matchmaking as we have Orion, we have Pegasus, and oh, White Cell. And we know that the community can make way better maps than all three of those combined. And so then I think it would be a great addition. Maybe just implement two maps at a time, you know, update them, just kind of, you know, put them out there. They don't have to be completely balanced or for completely competitive since this is Slayer and HCS is the true uh, competitive play. So people really want to be competitive with Halo. Uh, just, you know, something fresh and then new. Uh, that keep people coming back to the game. Number two on the list here, I think would be a, a really good improvement for uh, when it comes to the matchmaking and social, because as we all know, quick play is a very popular playlist, and now they're bringing in core play as well, which is essentially the old Team Arena playlist is gonna be moving over to core playlist, called core playlist. So you have objective game modes, and 4v4s in social, and you have just Team Slayer in social as well. Though I've found from my experience that these the matchmaking is just as sweaty as ranked, so it doesn't really make me want to play Social Slayer because of how sweaty those games are. They're basically like unranked sweaty matches, and that's not really the idea of having a social playlist 
I understand one have fair matches, so then good players don't completely stomp on bad players. But I think you have to kind of focus it mostly on connection. Um, you can have some form of skill based matchmaking, just so oh, then I, you know, Onyx players are not stomping on bronze players. But you know, something in, like, in the middle ground here where it's connection and you know, not so difficult matchmaking and fair matches. There's there's a middle ground here that I feel like we can meet. And why do I think social skill-based matchmaking should be weakened? Because I feel like it doesn't match up with the idea of social. Social is much more casual, kind of laid back, put some music on if you want, don't even bother wearing a headset or even audio, just kind of play the game for the fun of it. And, you know, winning, losing, getting a high KD, doesn't really matter at all. It's all about just kind of jumping in and experiencing the game. So then if you want to take it even further, you can jump into ranked, which would definitely be a much more difficult situation for you if you're brand new to it. But if you see what I'm saying here, and I feel like having the same matchmaking in social as you do arena, kind of defeats the purpose of social. Number three on the list I would say is improve the functionality of the content browser. The content browser is an absolutely amazing thing that was implemented in Halo 5. It's something I've wanted in Halo since Halo 2. And now that's finally in the game, I finally got a chance to play it and I never really do because I find the functionality of it to be pretty bad. Uh, just because it suffers from a lot of freezing um, you know, going in and out of games when people are joining in or leaving. Uh, the game freezes up and you can't really interact with the UI at all. Uh, and when that's happening, you also you can't talk to people, so then you have a lot of people who join into the game not using microphones or, or maybe you're in a party chat and they don't want to switch over to game chat. You get people just kind of sit in the lobby for maybe five, you know, a couple minutes going, okay, so what's the next thing? I don't know. I'm not in communication with them. And it just kind of makes, and so then they'll just drop out. And so once you have finally had that a 4v4 lobby to play CTF on the new map you want, you just made, people are gonna jump out and kind of ruins the whole experience and the true test of it. And so uh, uh, possibly if you're not, if figuring out the freezing and stuff like that is too difficult, um, or maybe if not be able to figure out why people can't chat with each other during uh, portions of the uh, experience, then maybe just add in like a UI addition. Kind of think about Fallout uh, Far Cry 5 does here, is they uh, give people the option to post up three different uh, modes that they want to play, and then people vote on that. Um, and obviously I heard there's some kind of issues with the way Far Cry 5 does it, but there's a way you can just kind of minor tweaks to where I think you can at least get players the option to let them know that, hey, we are trying to put up a next match, what do you want to play? Uh, because also a lot of times people just back out of a game if it's something they don't want to play like if they only want to play free-for-all and maybe the host wants to play CTF next game They'll just back out and it's just like well shoot I just lost all the people I had in my game right there Another thing I feel that you could do that 3 for 3 could do to uh, Spice things up a little bit when it comes to Halo 5 until the uh, release of Halo Infinite would be uh, new game modes coming into the game something brand new like Rock and Reel. It's actually kind of fun uh, Triple Team I didn't really care much for Shawty Snipes, I didn't really care much for because it's just the same experience, but just minor tweaks. I'm talking like, let's bring back some classic game modes that people absolutely love about the Halo franchise and have them in for a, uh, you know, a specialized playlist or something like that, like they're doing with the rotational playlist for social. Like, bring back a Husky Raid, how about just like a Husky Raid specific playlist for two weeks. That would be amazing. People absolutely love Husky Raid. I love Husky Raid, and I think it'd be a fun thing to do, but I never get a chance to play it. Really, if it's in the former action side playlist, I don't want to search for playing that same playlist for an hour or two to find, maybe get a chance to play it. Maybe bring back Fat Kid or something like that. Some kind of uh, classic game that people always love and it'd be really enjoyable. Uh, maybe also refresh Elimination because it's one of the least played playlists and remove Breakout 2.0 because I think Breakout 2.0 is universally disliked in the community. Uh, giving people radars and shotguns at spawn not the best idea, and a lot of people not really enjoying it. Personally, I love Extermination, and I've actually kind of come to like original Breakout, but nobody likes Breakout 2.0. Get that out of here. Now, I know I've been focusing a lot on ranked and social game modes, but what about Warzone? Warzone's the third most played playlist in the game. Obviously, we have Warzone Turbo, which is a nice, fun variation of it. People get really excited about playing that, but why not do something similar to Firefight as well? Firefight gets pretty stale, because you just have Heroic and Legendary, and on the weekends, you have Mythic, but if you know it's coming every weekend, you can be like, eh, I'll just skip it this time. How about give a special game mode for the Warzone Firefight people? Like, maybe even Turbo Warzone Firefight. Um, or just, you know, so then people are spamming Rex around. Just kind of keep it up and just freshen up something exciting. Or maybe Super Warzone, Super, Super Warzone, Super Fiesta, or whatever you want to call it. 
or maybe like you know like something like rocking rails where like the gravity is reduced or your speeds increased or something just kind of just what's tried like break the game kind of thing some kind of fun playlist to where um it's something you wouldn't normally play and just gives you a brand new experience with it and you never know but you can come up with some pretty awesome things i think it'd be super fun to be like you know have low gravity jump super high up in the air and then uh, once like a you know a group of enemies spawn and you just ground pound from the sky right on top of them That'd be freaking awesome, and I'd love to have that kind of experience. Maybe like a ground pound only thing or something. I don't know, just play, have some fun with it. You know, go off you know, with it. Because right now, I think at this life's turn, lifespan of Halo 5, it's kind of like the point of going, why not? You know, the game's two and a half years old right now. Let's try it out. And for number five on the list, I think this would also really help out the retained players that come back to the game would be community events. Something to keep people grinding, working their way up to earning something within the game, be it uh, extra rec points or rec packs, or maybe you make a new emblem or a new weapon skin even, or something along those lines. So where uh, people can earn something in game by doing, by doing some repetitive tasks to keep player retention is high. Say like, I don't know, for a Warzone firefight, kill 500 grunts or something like that. Or maybe for Arena, win 30 matches and you earn, um, I don't know, some gold packs or maybe like an emblem or something like that. Something Because I don't think emblems would be too difficult. You just gotta go into Photoshop, make something up for like 30 minutes, you know, and just implement it into the game. I don't think it'd be that much to ask for, really. And It'd just be some way for players to earn some in-game, keep retention high, and so then people will keep coming back to the game. I mean, this is, I have the same experience when it comes to say, like for Destiny, when you have like, oh, there's Faction Rally this week, or Iron Banner, or something kind of special happening this week, or oh, makes me want to jump in for this specific thing because there's like an event going on that makes me want to come back to the game and stick with the game for that week. So everybody, that's my top five list, not in any particular order about how I feel that uh, we, what we, the community can do or what 343 could do to keep Halo 5 fresh and keep people coming back and playing the game. Uh, it's not I'll just self-interest because I'm a Halo YouTube guy. I want to see people still playing the game because Halo 5 is pretty freaking fun, at least the multiplayer is. And I would like to, you know, still see people keep playing it because I feel like if you have higher retention rate in Halo 5, it just kind of gives you a nice solid base to build hype on for Halo Infinite. And since it's going to be a, at least a year, maybe even two years until the release of Infinite, uh, we, you know, we got to do something with Halo 5 to kind of keep it fresh and fun. So like I said earlier in the video guys, if you have your top 5 things you would like to see implemented into Halo 5 to kind of keep the game fresh, keep retention rates high, leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And uh, if you're new to the channel, you can always tap subscribe because we're always doing awesome Halo content on this channel. If you enjoyed this video and want to see, uh, have it shared around a little bit more, help out the con help out the community a little bit. Uh, you know, brainstorming ideas, so 343, because they do listen to uh, feedback. Obviously, we've seen that with Halo Infinite, at least with the art style. And that, um, you know, get help it, for share the video around so more people get a chance to kind of start thinking about what can we do, because it's going to be quite a long time to Halo Infinite's release. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right now if you haven't seen those videos before. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.